We made it back from Columbia, and looky here, looky here. The weather has changed dramatically, dramatically, but look at what has happened. The north wind has brought in ducks by the literal hundreds here to Twin Eagle Lake. Obviously, we haven't finished our dock down there. We're still working on that, but that's just a little bunch, and Beamer ran out in the yard a minute ago, and there was a bunch of deer out there and scared all the deer away. But, well, you look at the ducks. I mean, they're just literally everywhere. And they're just feeding along the edge of the bank. They're dining, supping, and they're definitely bottoms upping. But look at that. Isn't that a beautiful sight right there? A tremendous amount of ducks. We can zoom on them and get some really good looks at those ducks. Just absolutely gorgeous. And they are having fun. The north wind, this bank is protected from the north wind. So they can get down there and just play around and swim. Look at their upside down ducks. I love it to see them do that. Look at that, look at that pretty mallard right there. Wow, that's a beautiful mallard. And you can see they stick their butt in the sky. That's what Chris is always talking about. People that meddles in other people's business is they have their butt in the sky. Well, that's what those ducks are doing right there. They are butt inskies. They have their butt in the sky. But will you look at all the birds? They're just all over down there in front of the dock. There's a bunch of them in behind those bushes that you can't even see very well through the bushes. A bunch of them right in there. And they're, and they're scattered all the way down the bank, just as far as you can see. See them going off down there? Look at all the ducks down there. Scattered all down that bank, that little corner right there. is completely covered. I guess we got snow while I left. They got snow at Lake Tenkiller, snow at Jack and Sherry's house. Got pictures of Chris out in the snow. And yet, they got snow in Dallas, so they just about had to get snow here as well. But that is really something. Duck City here at Twin Eagle Ranch. I just love to watch those things. Last year when the lake was froze over and they were cutting them out little holes in there with their beaks, they're little bitty beaks, cutting them out little bitty holes to keep the water open. The lake was froze over. They were so much fun to watch. Pretty much fun to watch down there right now, aren't they? They sure are. Now they're on down the bank that way, as far as I can see from inside the house here as well. They just keep on going. They just keep on going. And that sports fans, is a great way to welcome Jimmy and Chris back home. Good morning, everyone. What a great way to start a new deer video for this week of Lucy's Herd. We have some surprises we want to put in here for this week. Uh, also, that we might probably going to do in a separate video. It was a surprise I did for Chris. It'll be a surprise for everybody else, and I think everybody's going to love it. But uh, we see the big 12 points out there. By the way, it's 20 degrees, and the reason I'm not out there is I'm standing here without my clothes on for the day. And uh, it is early in the morning, the sun's already up. The deer just showed up out there. They haven't been out there for a long time. Uh, when Chris and I got home last night, back to the ranch, uh, there was a lot of deer in the yard and they all took off running. I didn't know they were out there. They all took off running because Be Beamer ran around to the front and went down to the lake to get a drink. But the big 12-point wild deer is out there that uh, has become pretty calm. Now, could that deer be Milburn? I don't know. Probably not. That is probably one of the deer born from one of the bucks that we had in the uh, in the pen. And it's probably only a couple years old. Maybe three. He's two or three years old. Beautiful 12 points. Still got all his antlers. Has not lost them. There is a forest out there. I did see him during the night, so I knew that he made it just fine while we were going to Columbia. But uh, Forrest is out there, and he's looking really, really good. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You can see him down there. There he is. I'll zoom in on Forrest so everybody can take a good look at Forrest as we start this brand new week's deer videos. And uh, the yard is just completely full of deer. You can see him down there. See them down there drinking. There are the rain gauges sitting there on the porch with absolutely no rain in them. All the time we're in Columbia, it has not rained. Here we are up, about used up the month of January. And, uh, and we have, we have no, 
rain to speak of. I think we had 0.5 tenths of an inch on the very first day. A little bit better close-up down there. It looks like the buzzards have been on my deck while I was gone. We can see that down there. And uh, earlier there was a lot of ducks, ducks there. So maybe we got more ducks have come down. Not hardly any out there right now. See a few swimming around out there if I can find them. Yeah, there's just not very many. Yeah, just a few. Mostly they're underneath the water. <laughs> but uh, I saw a bunch more ducks, so we're probably there's a few ducks off down there. In that little little deal right there. But uh, probably be able to get videos of lots of ducks around. I like uh, like to get them, but it's super cold. The winter has finally showed up. I was in Columbia in 100 degrees, and now this winter has changed around a lot. A lot. All righty, what a great way to start out another weekly adventure with the deer at the house, Lucy's precious herd. I know that uh, some of the people out there are complaining not many, but occasionally people talk about it's terrible to feed the wild deer. But you take a look at the deer here. This morning is kind of cool. You know, there's a two, four, five, another little buck right there, six. That's one of the babies that was born this spring. It is 20 degrees out there, 20 degrees. These guys are scrounging around everywhere they can to get something good to eat. These are all babies right here. These are all babies that were born that's uh, six babies right there, two, four, six babies that were born this spring, and they're around trying to get something to eat. You can see they're all pretty good shape. They're not skinny or anything, of course, because of reason, one of the reasons is, of course, that we feed them. But they are, they are looking around trying to get something to eat, and not, uh, it's just, it's, it's, there's acorns on the ground, but uh, there's not a lot of good stuff for them to eat this time of the year, so... I'm gonna be going out there and, and throwing some feed. It's very, very cold. Uh, it's gonna be down below 10 tonight, single digits, which is really, really cold for Southern Oklahoma. Absolutely no doubt about it. But anyway, we'll be down there. We'll be down there tonight. We'll be out there in a little while. Uh, as soon as I can get some warm clothes on myself, put line jeans on today and uh, trying to take care of the deer. So. That's one of the things about feeding them, particularly in the wintertime, is that uh, you still are helping them survive. They have, a tough, they have a tough life in the winter. The further north you go, the tougher it is. They're big, hardy animals, no doubt about it, but a little help is sure appreciated. Food is becoming more difficult for the deer. We've talked about that. And uh, so, uh, We've been putting that, that trough you see way off out there. That's a big, long food trough. We've been putting a bag of South Fresh deer food in that every evening for the, for the deer that live here at the house. I saw some out there earlier. I don't see any out there right now. I don't see any around. There's been, I had 16 or 17 in the yard this morning. I think we videoed them a little bit. I am going to go ahead and uh, put a little, a little food in here. I'm gonna throw some out here, just kind of, just kind of scattered around a little bit. Uh, see if maybe I can get some to come a running up here. It's almost dark. You can see I've got a full pouch. Apache filled it up this morning. Told Apache to try to stay out of this cold weather if he could. I am gonna throw, throw some out here for the deer. A few spots. See anybody around? It's so cold, they're getting down in the bottoms and getting around areas. Getting in areas where rattling around. I don't see anybody coming running. I thought maybe if I mess around with this a little bit, I might be able to have a deer or two run up here. That doesn't appear to be happening. Maybe I need to make a little more noise. <laughs> I'll just do a little more rattling. I ought to be able to get a long way off. We've had ferocious winds today. It's supposed to get down to eight degrees tonight. 
It's just really, really some cold weather. But you know, we've had such a great December. And then November and December was just incredibly great weather. A lot of 80 degree days actually in November. A few of those in December, but a lot of 70 degrees also. Just absolutely gorgeous. And now we've hit here in January and had some sure enough cold weather come in, but it's not been too bad. We did not get any snow down here. I found out while we were going to Columbia. Uh, did not get any snow. The lake looks beautiful out there, even though it's cold. Ducks are plentiful. We have lots and lots of ducks out there. My new Generac generator. They came and worked on it last week. Hopefully it's working right. Hunter Heat and Air put that in, and the, the man only hooked it up to half the house. I don't know what he was thinking about. And then it didn't work properly, but Hunter's real good about taking care of people, and they have taken care of it, and you see the green light on it. And, uh, I haven't talked to them since I come back. They came out, and I'm sure got it wired to the entire, the entire house. I'm sure checked it, and it will probably run everything like it's supposed to. That generator's big enough to run half the size of the house we got. Our house is... I don't know, about 4,000 feet, a little more maybe. And uh, that generator will want a much bigger house than that, so it should not have. It was just a, a little faulty installation job there by one of the one of the guys, but they, they come out and fix it. He probably just maybe had a wire or two in the wrong place, but it's in pretty good shape now. I see no deer running, so this is a deer video <laughs> without any deer. Is that amazing? Is that amazing? A deer video without any deer. Who would ever think? Uh, sorry about that, guys and girls, but there are none coming up. But uh, we do have a, a really surprising deal we're going to let y'all take a look at here pretty soon. We don't have it quite ready, but we're getting really, really close. The surprise I had for Chris, she was very surprised. She just didn't know what to think about what I did. She never knows when I tell her I did something special for her. She never knows what to expect. I guess no deer are anywhere within hearing distance of our house right now. I did see Forrest this morning. He did not come up on the porch. He was out in the front yard with all the other deer. Uh, he might have got a little wild while I was gone this week. But we'll see, maybe in the morning, we'll see if something differently happens. But it's cold out here right now, but it's beautiful. There is a, uh, a black panther. Happens to be Beamer. <laughs> I Beamer. I Beamer, baby. I Beamer. Are you hiding behind the tree? <laughs> no, boss, I'm just being lazy. Come strolling up here. You see, those old deer won't stay with you. I'm staying with you. <laughs> Well, yeah, they'll be around. They'll be out here tomorrow. Let's we'll check them in the morning, guys and girls. Y'all all have a great night tonight. <laughs>